Hi there. I want to talk to you about simplifying your life, which absolutely will enhance your life, in my opinion. Psalm 46, verse 10 states, Be still and know that I am God. Those few words, which are only part of Psalm 46, speak volumes to me. Our lives have become so busy, it can be so difficult to just be still and know that He is God. When I think of my childhood, I remember my mother being home when I got home from school and if she wasn't there, I knew exactly where she was. She was at the neighbors. I would go there and I would tell them both about my day at school. I remember waking up in the morning and, you know, my mom would have oatmeal ready or cream of wheat on a cold winter's morning or I'd be making my own breakfast but she'd be in the kitchen just cleaning up and we had that time to talk. Our lives seem to have um, become so busy we don't have time to talk in the morning or even at dinner time. Now, for many years, I was dissatisfied dissatisfied with being a stay-at-home mom. Even though my mom was such a great example as a mom in many ways, um, I wasn't happy with being a stay-at-home mom and baking and canning and things like that. Um, and I fell into the trap of feeling guilty by not working outside of the home because I wasn't contributing financially to our household. All in all, I just didn't feel good about being home. Um, and it affect my behavior with my children, um, my overall happiness, really. I wanted more, so I went back to school. Um, but my brain, my heart, it still didn't seem like it was enough, um, like I was doing enough. And a few years ago, I had what I call a light bulb moment. I realized that when God says, be still and know that I am a God, when we do this, he'll release us from many things. It released me from many things. First and foremost, it released me from feeling useless. You see, I'd always thought, um, because other women were running around and going out to work and taking their kids here and there and still doing the laundry and the cooking and things like that, why shouldn't I? Well, for me, um, I shouldn't because then I wouldn't have that time. Um, it's a blessing to be able to stay home with your children and enjoy them and enjoy going to the park and baking with them and for them, um, making the jams and the sauce, doing all that things. It's a blessing and I was really looking at it the wrong way. Um, I just couldn't sit and enjoy the running water in my pond or the sunshine on my face if I was running around like crazy and you know I shouldn't feel guilty because I do have that time to sit and enjoy those things. To sum it up, um, being still and knowing He was God um, meant spending time with God first off. That's how you know that. Um, but it released me from guilt in many other situations as well. When you are still, you're able to see God's blessings and you're um, able to take that time to appreciate them. God also supplies us with clarity in the decisions that we need to make. Being still allows you to see all that as well. Now, please let me be clear, I'm not saying that everyone should be a stay-at-home mom by any means. What I am saying is that you need to seek God's clarity in the decisions that you want or need to make for your family. And you will be content in them. More than that, you will excel in them. Try it. Be still and reap His blessings. Until next time, bye for now.